This is going to be a tutorial on uh, the Strymed timeline using the dual mode um, in parallel. So here's a quick demo of what we're going for. So there seems to be a lot of confusion on how this mode works in the timeline using a Yoda configuration using the parallel mode in stereo. So basically in stereo mode um, it gives you individual left and right outputs and those are different tempos based on two parameters. So I'm going to show you the settings I'm using and then go over how it works. So everything here, that's how it's set up. And then time two, I have set to three halves. Repeats. These are going to be mixed to your taste. It doesn't really matter what mix two and repeats are. These will control um, the right output. Configuration has to be parallel. And then your tap division. And this is going to control what comes out of the left side. So. Right now, this setting, it gives you eighth notes coming out on the left, and it gives you dotted ace coming out on the right. So now, there's this really simple formula, and it lets everything be really simple. So I think of this beats in terms of taps, and so whatever you tap, your tempo in on the timeline or whatever the BPM set to, I have one of those equal to a beat. So in parallel mode, you have left and right and they're going to come out different tempos. Your left tempo is going to come out whatever your tap division set to. Your right is going to come out whatever your time to ratio is set to multiplied by the tap division. So here's just a chart on, you know, basically a quarter note is one beat. 16th note is a quarter beat, dotted eighth note is three quarters of a beat, and an eighth note is half a beat. So it's important to know what a dotted eighth note is. Anytime you dot a note, that means you take that note plus half its value. So a dotted eighth note is an eighth note, half a beat, plus half of that beat, so a quarter. One half plus a quarter is three fourths. You can also think of this in terms of musical notes and their values, quarter note, sixteenth note, but I like this way because the fractions are easier to work with. So on the first example, I showed you this sound. We have eighth notes on the left and dotted ace on the right. So this formula, I need my left to be set to eighth notes. So that's one eighth in the tap division setting and it's half a beat. Using this formula, I know my dotted eighth note is three quarters of a beat. I don't know what I want my ratio to be yet. And I know that my tap division is half a beat. So if I have this equation, I solve for time two, I get that the ratio is three halves. And that's exactly what I just showed you guys. Now, if you want to switch it around and have the dotted eighth note come out of the left and the right be eighth notes, same thing. Tap division, it's called dotted in the timeline. And that's three quarters of a beat. You have this equation again. I want eighth notes, which are half a beat, which is R. I'm solving for time two, and I know that my tap division is three quarters. Time two, you do the math, it's two thirds. And we can do that right now. So tap division, I have that set to dotted. And my time two, if I set two, two thirds, thirds, get my guitar, it should be the same thing, but reversed. And then here's another example where if you wanted quarter notes coming out of your left and dotted at least coming out of your right. 
pretty easy tap division. It's called QRTR for quarter in the timeline, and that's one beat. This equation again, you want three fourths times two times one. Set so time two to three fourths, and your tap division to quarter, you'll get this. So I'll show that again. We do time two, and we're setting that to three quarters. And tap division, we're going to set to quarter. So. So, and then the original setting I have, which I like using a lot, is this. And the cool thing about this, and this is something that a lot of people misunderstand, is they set it so it sounds like a dotted eighth, but then it's not in sync with the tap tempo. Here, it's actually set to what is blinking here. So if I change my tempo to something, whatever the song's BPM is, if you set it to that, So you can, whatever, if the tap tempo will follow whatever your song is, and you're going to get dotted ace and eighth notes or whatever you have it set to using this magic equation and knowing what your tap division is, and then being able to interpret them as beats or notes. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.